public education, and all the things that are important to us. Um, I have also, before that, I mean, there's political experience and there's real life experience. Before that, I had 25 years experience in the healthcare delivery system, making sure that people had access by lowering the cost of healthcare. So, after much study and consideration and prayer discussion with my family, I decided in December to run against the incumbent for this seat, the ninth congressional seat. I made the decision to run against the incumbent because I saw the need for new leadership and for change because we have critical concerns in our community that needed to be addressed. I decided in December because I thought that it was important for us in all democracies to, you know, all democracies are founded on the consent of the governed. Right? From the very beginning. You guys know that here, down here in the, you guys have had your social studies class, haven't you? <laughs> oh, by the way, in case you're wondering and you're worried about that, I also too have had a social studies course. <laughs> That's a, kind of a joke on one of our uh, opponents on the Republican side. Um, the consent of the government. We run by the consent of the government. And in December, I decided that I was no longer going to consent or sit in silence. I do not consent to any American being without health care. <laughs> if, if a child is sick, they should be able to see a doctor. It's as simple as that. I do not consent to people losing their homes because of reckless and unchecked predatory mortgage lenders. I do not consent to a haphazard war strategy and an open-ended occupation policy. I do not consent to jobs leaving Mexico, Missouri and going to Mexico City, Mexico. When I decided to run, I knew that it would be difficult and I knew that we had a lot to do to change. But I didn't think that we should just wait for change to happen. We have to make change happen. So I could have kept my seatbelt on and I could have stayed safely in my state rep seat. But I knew that this was not the year to do that. This is no year for us to be shy and shrink away from the things that are important to us. We almost need a snap out of it campaign. We've got to snap out of it. We have heard the Republican nonsense for so long, it's numbing. And good people like us must stand up and come out and, and not be silent. If we wish for sweeping health care reform, we must work for it. If we wish for better standing in the world, we must work the ways of peace and solve our very complicated entanglements abroad. If we want jobs to remain in America, we must insist, insist on sensible trade agreements. If we want to wish, if we wish for the preservation of our public education, we must support it. And if we wish for stronger working families, we must support the right to organize and negotiate. Thank you.